Howdy folks, in this quick guide I'm going to cover the no rel, no opener in WordPress, which is a slightly complicated thing you might encounter at some point, so I'm going to explain why, why and where you might see that. So by default, if I link to something in WordPress, let's go ahead and link to WP Shout itself from this post. If I don't select this open in a new tab, you won't see this, um, this pop-up um, you won't see this no rel no opener. If I turn on that thing and I save the draft, let's go ahead and preview that in a new tab. If I view the source on this page, or inspect element, I prefer inspect element a little bit, I guess, you'll see that I have this target underscore blank rel equals no refer or no opener. And so a few different things have happened that are worth understanding. Basically, that all happened because I hit open in a new tab. If I turn off the open in a new tab and I resave that draft, my preview should update if I recall, but let's refresh to make sure. And I inspect element again, you'll notice that none of that is there, not the target blank and not the no ref, no opener. So again, basically telling WordPress you want to open that in a new tab adds this no refer, no opener. And what does that mean? Really good article about this on uh, MDN. So no refer uh, keyword for the rel attribute of an A, which is to say a link, uh, tells the browser to omit the refer header and otherwise leak no refer information and behave as if the no, re no opener keyword was also specified. So in point of fact, WordPress is doing us more work than we need um, to include both the no rel and no opener according to Mozilla right there. But basically this is what is happening is that target blank is saying open in a new tab or open in a new window. And the rel no refer no opener is all security measures that WordPress is taking on our behalf to make sure that not only does that site open in a new tab, but they don't have access to the user's browsing history. So that's the role of no refer, no opener, and how and why you might add it on a link, basically, because you want it to open in a new tab. Really quickly, this no follow is about SEO juice flowing to things, and sponsored is a new way, in addition to the no follow, that they let you say that, hey, this link was paid for, and you know Google hates when people buy links. So that's why these two options are also showing here. All right, with that, cheers.